I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Zireo. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Oneiromancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? And proclaim Avalach our new king? Don't flatter yourself. Defy Eredin. That's all you need to do. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not? must face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tien Aliar will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalark knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let Gales go too easily. He got off cheap and easy. Sold us a few pieces of advice, some story about a sunstone. He gave us his assurance that he'll not support Eredin. And that is quite a lot. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that. Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses of the Lodge, and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Couldn't help it. Grew curious about this little matter you have to resolve. When I was last in Nogar, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me. Do. 
others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We need to go to Temple Isle. Don't remember you being religious? Nor am I now. Let's go. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horse and Junior. A bit late for that. He's dead. I asked Sultan, and he said Horson's alive and well on Temple Isle. I was there, stuck a sword in his gut. Your hand must have slipped, because it seems he's recovered. Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? Don't know. Depends what I see. Did you lose your way? No, you just run too fast. Or well, you've gotten old. Shall we? Sure, lead the way. What? Here to see Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley's expecting important guests, so bugger off, you... you... Chance! Here I thought we could do this the nice way. Out of the way, you louts! Or we'll cut up your mugs so the girls at Cripple Kate's won't even have you. What do you say? Didn't understand? Too many syllables? Fuck off! Oh, you little bitch! My man hit my girl! <laughs> You're gonna die! Take him from the... You say Geralt? Geralt who? A fucking Rivia. Well, why didn't you say that from the get-go? Sorry to hassle you, misunderstanding that. Mr. Wiley's expecting you. That was strange. To say the least. I wonder what they're doing. We'll know soon enough. your little ward. Took your sweet fucking time. Seems in fine health to me. Ah, cause you thought you killed me that time. Surprise the fucking prize. Shut your trap, witch! Before somebody fills that owl for you. Enough! I'll finish what you started. Whoa, whoa, stop, it's me, Dudu, Dudu Bieberfell. You really didn't recognize me. Dudu? Wait, Siri. After the heist, after Dijkstra's vault was emptied, you vanished. How'd I find you? Quick. Butcher's yard, the mama's play, Priscilla's. You dragged me onto the stage. Sheathe your sword, Siri. It's doo-doo. Gods! You give me quite the scare. Wouldn't have had to if you hadn't impersonated Horson. What the blazes were you thinking? Once we'd fled, I had no idea what to do. I could only hide for so long. They'd find me sooner or later. It wasn't our decision. We knew he was dead, but not many others had caught on. That was my chance. No one mourned for Horson Jr. In all his miserable life, he'd never helped a soul. 
Amusingly, once dead, he became a useful member of society. They say everyone deserves a second chance. Seems true enough. Orson got his. In a way. Sharing it. With a Doppler named Doodoo. -Doo. That was courageous, Doodoo. -Doo. I'd never expect it from you. Neither would I. Oh, by the way, you've no idea at the relief I feel you're alive and well. And I'm relieved I didn't slit your throat. Be careful. You could get found out. Wiley's men are too stupid to catch on. His colleagues ain't much better. Mind you, even you were fooled. And that might have ended very badly for you. True. I get a bit carried away at times. But mostly I'm careful. Chose an interesting line of business. Dudu's always had a head for numbers. What's a few brothels and casinos? He'll manage. That's the thing. I don't need to. Two weeks after Wiley died, I announced I'd seen the light of the eternal fire. Sold all the illegal enterprises. I'm a blue water trader now. Horson's men didn't protest? I've contacts in the guilds. Run a thriving trade. Profits are twice what they were before. To Wiley's men, a purse twice as heavy means twice as much respect for the men handing it to them. Time's up. Right. We must still go by the Golden Sturgeon. It was nice to see you both. And take care of yourselves. You too. So long, Dudu. Why are we going to the Sturgeon? To see a girl who helped me once. Who might that be? Friends of Dandelions. Her name's Bee. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Helped me contact Dandelion. I will wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. Long live acceptance. I visited a city once that was very much like Novigrad, but the people there were much taller and had dark skin. Is somewhere in Zeracania? No, in another world. Hmm. What's it like, hopping between worlds? Anything like passing through a portal? Or different? Hmm, a bit different. It was hard going at first. I wasn't very good at controlling it. So I had to concentrate intensely and hope I didn't land in the crater of an active volcano. The training I did with Avalark was very helpful. Now I merely think of the place I wish to travel to, close my eyes, and it's done. Ah, you're back. Let's see these books of yours. Farewell. Now they've got their new king. Perhaps the Skelligers will calm down. Give you a chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners. You're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Draw your weapons. Let's get this over with. Whoa. What? You're out to hurt her. I won't let you. So we'll argue and swagger and have who knows how long a pissing contest. I don't have time for that. Draw your swords. Mistake, you rat! Thank you. I seem more determined this time. Shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. 
It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Nobody important. I'll gladly put you up for the night. Could use a nobody like you. Be you strumpet. Control yourself. This is Geralt. <laughs> Why didn't you say so to start with? <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Siri. Didn't you have something to take care of? Right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning. Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our Witcher. I will. So long. So, your friend, B. What about? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt, you're terrible. What'd I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because the temple guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copper to my name. Then I met Valda. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. Where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello? What's this? Brought your granddad? Hagar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Likewise, and thanks for helping Siri. Oh, we had no choice. Found it hard to refuse a lass like her. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. Would have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Better start resettling non humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our knights for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Hmm. <laughs> Any way we can help? Oh, don't fret about us. We always get by somehow. Right, Siri? What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. Hmm. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Geralt, choose one of these. Coming, coming. Come on, Roach. You 
were faster once. Giving you a head start. Get here. Faster, you're trailing. Watch where you're going or you'll fall. <laughs> Seems you've slowed. Just want to admire you from the side. That's it, Roach. Still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race. Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We have several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. Glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Hmm. Fairy tale life. But we gotta defeat the wild hunt first. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least. What do you mean? <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Meaning? Ordinary. Is, you're not. You were born to greatness. As I've been hearing since I was born. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. It granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands. Not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. The sooner you get rid of that illusion, the better. What do you mean? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I traded for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses, but we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable with 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Gotta be another way to solve this. It just so happens I got some coin I could lend you. We'd have no way to repay you. Wouldn't have to. A generous offer, but not one to resolve this situation. The merchant didn't object to our coin. He objected to us. I'll not trade with such scum. I believe those were his words. 
and if he'll not trade, we've no choice but to steal from him. Uh, what can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! Must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. Agar, keep a lookout. Siri and I'll try to get inside. All right. Not to me a day job. here. I'll go inside and open the door for you. Just keep it. Hard to find good guards these days. Quiet. We'll wake them. Tired of life or something. Excellent work. Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt. Who would like more wine? at least have died with you.
Danians, long as they pay and don't hit. Just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. Don't waste any time, do they? I don't like this. Neither do I. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. Mm. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. I won't. Until Ciri decides otherwise. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, it did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. As before, I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then, and we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. The Lodge of Sorceresses has been outlawed throughout the continent. Joining them means facing persecution, always being on the run. Kings die, realms fall, but magic endures. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalark for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I don't trust him, I don't trust you, but that doesn't matter. Siri decides. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection, but you shall be your own rudder, captain, and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... We need to go to Skellige, find the Sunstone. Avalach awaits down at the port. So? I don't know. Don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk. How'd it go? No casualties, so not bad, I suppose. Siri can handle herself and gets it from you. 
Since it seems to be over, perhaps... Yes, good idea. Something's not right. What are you up to? Don't be nervous. Yen and I, well, we talked and concluded... That we've wasted much too much time fighting over you. Meanwhile, we'll probably soon face the Wild Hunt. Most likely battle Aridin himself, and who knows what could happen. So, we decided we must try to make the most of the time we have left. Together. Together? Go on. We've always loved each other. You're in love with us. There's no point in fighting it. We must enjoy what we have. So, we've prepared something special. Come by the Kingfisher this evening. Bring wine. Lots of wine. See you later, love. I can't wait. This'll be interesting. Dandelion's poetry. The kingfisher preened, then fell in the latrine. Know it? Yeah. Also know the one about Princess Annie, who drowned in the river Fanny. Uh, yes. At any rate, the kingfisher welcomed poetry lovers with open arms. Some of the brightest stars in the literary firmament perform here. What are you serving today? hope that you'd appear. We couldn't wait for you to show.
What about me? Don't I get any? You just got exactly what you deserve. Hey, this isn't funny. <clears throat> Come back. Triss, Yang. about this no they didn't tell me till this morning a shame really because it looks like you had a roaring good time dandelion all right all right sorry don't often see you like this couldn't resist so how do you feel a bit numb I bet Triss and Yen, where are they? Got something to say to them. Oh, Geralt, how little you know about women. Did you really think you could have them both? You have a great deal to learn. Glad to give you some advice if you want. Think I'll pass. I'm going to the port. We should already be on our way to Skellige. Well, take care of yourself, friend. And you're not sore about my teasing, are you? No, I'm not. So long, Dandelion. a sword swinger too. For King Radovid. Don't stare or I'll flog some man of it. Oh, oh, I'll stick your neck out, White. You're liable to lose it. Oh, the right to rainy day, The lady of a new rice thinks you're a bigger rat bigger than me. They all I never let your kind in, no regret proper. Can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rig. Damn it! Cordy, you're a blasted thing! 